Well, as we've been discussing uh, throughout uh, this hearing, uh, we have been subjected to consistent cyber attacks, uh, ransomware in particular, uh, and attacks against uh, critical infrastructure. And Secretary Mayorkas, uh, in your opening statement, you discussed uh, a number of uh, activities the DHS is engaged in and attempt to mitigate uh, uh, the impact of these attacks or prevent these attacks from occurring uh, in the first place. And as you know, and I believe you've been briefed and, you, and your staff has been uh, working uh, with uh, Ranking Member Portman and I on legislation to provide the government uh, with incident reporting on uh, cyber incidents uh, and uh, ransomware attacks in particular, but broadly uh, uh, encompassing all uh, cyber attacks. So Secretary Mark Mayorkas, could, could you uh, tell this committee how this kind of authority to collect this uh, information, how will that help you prevent cyber attacks from occurring in the first place and ensure that our critical infrastructure can operate the way it should? Um, uh, Mr. Chairman and um, uh, Ranking Member uh, Portman, we're very grateful for this committee's support of the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. That legislation, which calls for a, a new reporting regime, will be of tremendous value uh, in elevating the cybersecurity of this country because um, it really requires a public-private partnership. And if, in fact, for example, a company that suffers a cyber incident um, provides that information to us in the federal government, then we can ensure that a replicate uh, of that harm uh, is not suffered elsewhere in the country. If everyone is compelled to provide incident information to us, then we learn from one, we learn from two, and collectively then we disseminate to all, and that raises the cyber hygiene of the landscape writ large. Thank you, and, and, and Director Ray, uh, I know ransom payment information is of importance to the FBI. Could you tell the committee how important that is and, and how this legislation will help you? Uh, absolutely, I think the key will be to make sure that the information uh, reaches uh, the FBI real time because as I testified in response to one of the earlier questions, speed, hours matter in this particular arena. Uh, getting the information from the private sector on a more consistent and timely basis will be critical for, for us at the FBI as well for I think five reasons. One, it allows us to better understand the full extent uh, of the threat uh, of particular intrusion sets nationwide. Second, it enhances our ability to warn about trends, tactics, techniques, procedures in a much more meaningful way. Uh, third, it allows us to uh, provide support for a greater number of victims and collect more evidence and therefore bring more cases. Uh, fourth, it allows us to help uh, collect, uh, connect seemingly unrelated incidents into uh, attribution to a single actor, which is incredibly value in its, in its own right to ensure that we're holding them accountable for the full extent of their activity. But then last but not least, it allows us to follow the money uh, and in many cases seize it. Uh, and I can't underscore enough how important that is. Our strategy is to go after the actors, their infrastructure, and their money. And, and legislation like this would help us do that uh, as long as we get the information you know, real time. Thank you. On, on March uh, 2021, National Intelligence Report assessed that domestic violent extremists were, and I quote, uh, the most persistent and lethal threat, uh, unquote, to the United States. The FBI has found the same, uh, and uh, I helped pass a requirement in the uh, fiscal year 20 NDAA that required both the FBI and the DHS to report uh, data on this threat. Uh, yet both of your agencies uh, took uh, close to a year to provide roughly uh, half of the response that we're looking for, a year to provide half. And Director Ray, uh, uh, in the case of the FBI, uh, half would be a very generous assessment of what uh, the FBI provided. It's considerably less than that. And if, um, if we can't uh, get that kind of data, it's difficult for us to understand uh, what uh, the efforts are, uh, what efforts are being made and how we might be able to support those efforts. Uh, you have uh, reporting requirements under the law, and I would hope that you would uh, comply on time and in full. Can I get a commitment that we can get the rest of that information that's well over a year past, uh, uh, past the uh, expected date? Well, certainly you can have my commitment that we're going to do better and work with you uh, as quickly as we can to get you the information that we can. 
Uh, part of the challenge uh, that we're not happy about is, of course, the pandemic hit and many of the people that were involved in pulling together the information were uh, either otherwise occupied with the significant domestic terrorism operations that we had or otherwise sidelined. The other part of it is, as I understand it, a lot of the information may be information that wasn't uh, collected or, or kept in a way that uh, the committee might have been looking for. So you are uh, absolutely right that we need to do better than we have, and you have my commitment that we will do better than we have. But we, I understand we have a regular cadence now of engagement with your staff, uh, prioritizing the items that, uh, that you need soonest, uh, and you have my commitment that we'll work with you on that. Well, I appreciate that, and we will uh, we'll be continuing to reach out to, to get that to happen. You know, experts have assessed that in the last five years, domestic extremist groups have uh, expanded their use of online platforms to recruit, plan, export, and spread uh, violence and terrorize Americans. Uh, last week, uh, I wrote a letter to the heads of Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube seeking information, including the effort, their efforts to coordinate with federal, state, and local governments to detect and to prevent online extremist efforts. So my question to you, uh, Director Ray, is uh, we're less than a year uh, past the violent uh, January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol and an attempt to disrupt the peaceful transfer of power, which is without question a dark stain on the, our history, uh, all of which was planned, organized, and spread online. So my question is what specific steps is the FBI doing now to combat the use of social media to plan domestic terrorist attacks? Have you stepped up your activities and give us a sense of, of uh, what you are doing? So certainly when it comes to social media, when we get tips and leads, we're trying to make sure that those are being prioritized and pursued. We're trying to improve our, uh, our own communications with the social media companies. That partnership, uh, as you and I have discussed before in the election influence context, has continued uh, to improve. Uh, and so we're trying to leverage that a little bit. Uh, among the other things that we're trying to do uh, our, build out our human source base better so that we can separate kind of the wheat from the chaff within the social media information that we get because the volume of this stuff is just astounding. Uh, and then last, we're also looking at better use of data analytics, again, to try to see if we can separate the wheat from the chaff within the information that we get. Uh, certainly when it comes to looking at social media, there are long-standing Department of Justice policies, the so-called Attorney General guidelines and the DIOG that have been in place for 15, 16, maybe more years that kind of govern what we can and cannot do, and it gets a complicated subject to explain, but we are committed to aggressively acting in this space just as we are in others. I would say, of course, I know that DHS uh, also plays a very important role uh, in looking at social media, and we benefit from the partnership with them on that subject. They're things that they can do as part of their mission uh, that we can't and don't. Thank you. Uh, Ricky Moore Portman, you're recognized for your questions. 